Hello all, welcome to Black Mars channel, making VW's golden shoes, also other engines for Tesla available. A unique car culture in China that is very well understood is China's low-speed electric vehicle. Many Americans on YouTube buy this to make a video, high play volume, some call it the Alibaba car. In China, we refer to it as Lao Tu Lei. In fact, it's simply the car that elderly men like to drive a lot. But a deeper meaning, actually, it's the same as what is written on my clothes, or the loser paradise. This has negative implications due to the elderly drivers many lack a valid driver's license. Often don't follow traffic rules cause many traffic accidents. To other traffic participants cause much trouble. Everyone on the road is frightened when they see these cars, but they are also numerous. Even you can in Beijing. See such a car, the streets are full of Urbanization rate in China, about 60%, 40% left, around 600 M people in rural areas. This transport is used in villages. No registration, insurance or license needed. Price is around $1,000, $2,000. It's inexpensive, so it has a large market. China is reported to have about a stock of one, two million units. No official stats, some research reports due to huge market in Shandong province, China. There's even a car show about it. Just us today, the car show I want to introduce to you because their main market, factory in Shandong I've been to in the past three years, visit this exhibition yearly. It truly has everything I need. Just like a parallel universe, Gouda Wood or Frankfurt Motor Show. There are various proportions. Strange, vulgar luxury car, the most bizarre car show globally with a scale rivaling any other show in the world. Due to elderly users in rural China, limited internet usage, online presence of this demographic is minimal can't see how much information about this car show. So today I'll show you these years I'm at this exhibition. What magical car models have you seen? Bugatti is definitely the best, the most privately manufactured car models. This exhibition exists. However, they've transformed into practical ones at this exhibition. Sedan version with four doors, approximately three meters long, very short in length, appears very strange in appearance. Different colors. A few years ago, Bugatti's low-speed EV on road in China, you can see someone buying them. Later, due to old man in China not familiar with Bugatti, everyone knows more about Mercedes G, prefer that kind of car. Bugatti sales are poor, exited market. Next up, Mercedes G class. This car is likely a Mercedes Benz G. Seems to be halved. Most common setup at this expo. Also the best car model in terms of craftsmanship. Almost all the details of the G-Class have been restored. Looks like a G-Class that just started primary school. Interior is amazing. Three screens in front. Looks advanced, right? Also has integrated seat. Impressive, isn't it? Seat appears designed for model. What's more amazing is access to back row. Also, two screens visible on front seats. Can be used for videos and music. It's a luxury car configuration, also the most expensive car in the market. Options for electric and extended versions. Most expensive car model around 4 or 5K USD. Belongs to the top level low speed EV in China. You occasionally see this car in some places. Sales volume not high, more expensive. Also newer Mercedes G than one entered primary school. Larger Ford Bronco. Size slightly bigger than Jimny. Car about $3,000. Largest model in entire auto show. Next, you should be able to recognize this machine quickly. It's Maserati. It could be Levante, but it's also reduced by half the size. Proportion seems odd. More interesting is the rear end. When you reach the back, you'll discover it has a mini Crabman's double opening door. This must be unprecedented globally. Imagine. Mini and Maserati got married, then gave birth to a child. What should it be like? That may be what it looks like. Can someone name this illegitimate or mixed race child? Of course, Mini is popular in China. Various Mini microplastic versions here. New Mini always getting bigger and bigger. Parallel universe of China. They can keep Mini down, unsure if Mr. Hando will like these things. Another thing is the Porsche Taycan, appearing very disproportionate. Last year's style, they haven't done well. Chinese people like Porsche. The largest number of Porsches in the world are sold in China. Apart from this Porsche that looks a bit ugly, this year I also saw more exquisite Porsches. A 911 card Goose, the car model we saw at the exhibition, it looks impressive. Doesn't seem like a cheap thing, however we have not seen these cars on the road yet, maybe they haven't gone public yet. 
These cars may be samples to show maker's strength at the show. This car resembles the new Land Rover Range Rover model. You think it should be like this. This is the latest model seen at the auto show this year. Currently, we haven't witnessed anyone driving them on the road. This car has a front face like a cartoon La Saint version. The same grey as the new Leisheng advertisement, however, it has a very strange body line. The workmanship of the previous G-Class is far worse. Besides Range Rover, Land Rover also has new Defender at this show, yet pickup of new Defender has arrived, compensated for the tradition lost by the new Defender. However, it looks really cheap and rough, but it seems that the guard should be rough. There is also an Aston Martin automobile present, what should it be named, DBX Bar. It ought to be a reduced size variant of DBX. This car doesn't look odd in proportion from the front, like a serious scaled down Aston Martin. As the most famous luxury car, Rolls-Royce and Bentley will not be missing. However, their ratio has been strangely modified. Like the cheap toy cars in the amusement park, there is also a Cadillac here. To be honest, the front of Cadillac XT5, when it is reduced on this car, there is actually a bit of coordination, even a bit like an original Cadillac work. If Cadillac were to launch a very small SUV, they could consider naming it XT1, for example. It may look like this, comparatively rare. This car factory directly used the Cadillac logo. Usually they wouldn't do this, they'll change a logo or use your own logo. Here are the most popular worldwide now. Tesla Model Y, but honestly it looks ugly after shrinking. I don't know what Musk saw later. Will you complain on Twitter? There is also an electric Hanma here. However, this feels four times smaller. Appears very small, doesn't it? Truly Hanma, right? It's an extremely large car. However, this car may be more like its name, Hummingbird. This is what I captured at the auto show three wires ago. If you know enough about Hanma, you know it wasn't for sale then. Only pictures were posted. This is how the car show manufacturers are. You just need to release a picture. They can really make a car for you. There are too many cars. I won't explain it to you one by one today. Everyone can watch the video. For instance, there's Volvo. Many messes, different car types. Ultimately, let me clarify for all. These cars have real gray areas in China. As they can't get the qualification certificate, which is required by the government for automobile production, so they produced a few items that resemble a combination of an automobile and a three-wheeler. China gradually phases out car factories. Some cities ban vehicles from driving on roads. For instance, Beijing year-end. These cars no longer allowed on road. So they may gradually disappear in China in the coming years. If interested in cars, contact us. We can assist you in contacting manufacturers of these cars. Their customers never go online, so they don't have websites. We met vendors through business cards. All right, this is the tale of the most peculiar car exhibition on the planet. Thank you for tuning in. Farewell.